Kanye West ranting about Puma, Nelly in the Air Jordan 3 cha-chas, PJ Tucker not being able to cop his own PE, and Virgil creating his own sneakerhead high five. These are the things we're going to be talking about in today's video. Yo, what is up fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kicksplore where we talk everything about sneakers, lifestyle, travel, and a little bit of everything in between. And today we're going to be doing my first episode of Sneaker Rants, where we just make a little bit of fun about all the things that are going around in the sneaker world today. So let's get it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Nair. <laughs> the first thing I want to talk about is Nelly's Air Jordan 3 Black Cement char chars uh i remember seeing this in the morning when i woke up and it full on made me crack up <laughs> straight away in the morning i mean if you guys haven't seen the video nelly basically has joined in on the uh dancing with the stars kind of series and my man has changed so much because before he used to be like so gangster with his top off tat and like you know wearing uh being all mean and, and like you know wearing air force ones and all that kind of stuff and now he's wearing like ballroom dancing customized sneakers it's just such a big change and uh i don't know if you guys watch the video it's pretty good i mean uh, my man nelly looks like he's a little bit out of his element but it's a good video to watch and it's good that he's kind of i guess diversifying himself in terms of sneakers and he kind of made up his own unique sneaker which is the Nike Air Jordan 3 Black Cement Cha Cha. So major props to him and hope he continues doing this kind of stuff. So another thing I want to talk about are the new Fire Reds, the 2020s that are coming out and uh, I know a lot of people are going to be a little bit disappointed or a little bit shocked when they actually open the box because it will more look like an infra pink. Uh, it's just something that uh, well I guess you know Nike's already kind of uh, Put it out there that it is a little bit brighter and uh you know it's kind of different which is okay i mean i i wouldn't want nike just continually retroing and retroing and retroing the same sneaker over and over and with just really subtle differences at least this is a major difference and it is kind of paying homage to the actual uh you know color of infrared back in the day and uh, at least this one has a hang tag and also the nike air at the back so you know it's a it's a win-win i think in the end uh, especially if you like air jordan fours another thing i I want to be talking about is PJ Tucker and his new PE. Uh, he, he was actually blessed by Nike to actually have one, especially doing it on a Kobe. But that's not the whole story. Uh, what's actually funny was he, when he dropped it on the sneakers app, he tried to cop it, but he only copped an L. <laughs> So he copped an L on his own sneaker, but you can be rest assured that my man, the the you know the king of kicks on court is not gonna you know he's gonna be have multiple pairs of these anyway. It's just funny him trying to cop one and he copped an L. Anyways, props to my man PJ Tucker and hope he keeps doing what he's doing because yeah, I can't wait to see what he does in the future. So as I was searching through the interwebs, I, I noticed that Virgil Abloh had a new sneaker coming out. It's called the was it out of the office sneakers. What I couldn't help notice was both the people in it looked like they were giving each other a sneaker you know a sneaker high five which is pretty funny and i mean like i'm dubbing it man i'm, I'm taking it that's the new virgil abloh sneaker head high five <laughs> and uh, can you imagine people doing this in the future like just say, yo what's up <laughs> i think it's cool i mean it's a cool photo to take especially when you're collaborating photo uh with other like creators or influencers or even just normal people it's just fun sneaker head high five time and then both your feet Kind of just go like that. <laughs> and finally, I would like to end with Kanye West's rants about Adidas and Puma. All right. We know that Kanye West can be very, very controversial in all the kind of statements that he puts out uh, with his own life, his personal life, and all this kind of like business talk as well. And some of the, the more recent ones uh, that he's been talking about are about Adidas and Puma. He was he went he went straight out and said that you know the designs for Puma were trash. But he's saying that it's okay. He is the hero and he will make everything okay. Then after that like kind of tweet, I noticed that a lot of people have been roasting him, like telling him that like you know he's he's claiming that uh, Puma's trash. But when he goes and designs things like this, so it's pretty funny how uh, I don't know if it's just a marketing ploy that he's doing because uh, you know he does. You know, he is affiliated or, you know, he is connected with Adidas. And um, maybe he's just getting the name out there so people can, more, like, you know, just bring up the name Adidas and Puma, 
you know, it could be negative marketing, but any marketing is good marketing. And that's what he's kind of doing. Anyway, in the next one, in the next tweet that he has, he goes and apologizes straight away that, you know, he shouldn't have said that publicly. And it was really sorry to, it was, I think it's Imori and Jay, well, as in Jay-Z, both rappers, I believe, I think. But yeah, and, and the rest of the Puma crew. So he was like, I don't know, if I was... Uh, Yeezy, man, I would just just would have just owned it and just said like, all right, I think it's trash. Well, he's technically allowed his own opinion, right? And if he does make it better, then hey, it's a win-win for everyone. But you know, apologizing, I was like, oh man, that's not really you, Kanye. But at least he did the right thing, kind of, and just went out publicly and said sorry. After that, he, <laughs> he kind of, he, it's like he took one step back but two steps forward in the wrong direction and went out and said, like, if he's not on the board of directors, he is going to be wearing Jordans, like, until then. And I think that's crazy funny, man. Like, whoever does that? You know, who has the balls to actually go and, um, you know, go against the brand that you're repping? It's, like, it's totally crazy. Like, man, just because you're a billionaire now, Kanye, man, this guy is just going, what? this is just doing whatever he wants, doesn't <laughs> whatever he feels like and uh true to his word he actually did and go and wear air jordan ones there's a picture or there's a tweet where he's just saying mood wearing the core purple ones and uh i think that this guy uh I, I really think that air jordan uh one core purples are gonna explode in value now just because he was wearing it uh it has happened in the past and i'm not gonna be surprised if it happens now it's just funny that he actually did it and i mean he's still wearing like a a foam runner in the like sorry he still has the foam runner out in the picture on the side as well but it's just funny that he actually did that man now uh he's gone out and in included other tweets as well like kind of um i don't know making up like he he went out and also did other tweets to kind of make up for what he said where he wants to do collabs with adidas and nike that that is mind-blowing and um yeah i really think you know, as crazy as, as it sounds, he could probably do it. And he's just trying to be inclusive in terms of community and stuff. He just doesn't want to, like, divide people in terms of brands and like that kind of things. He just wants to integrate everything together and be, like, you know, all kind of nice kind of thing. And I, if he does it, props to him. But, oh, man, I don't know. There's, It's, it's just, like, oil and water, you know, like Nike and Adidas. And, like, I don't, I don't really think it's going to... I don't know how he's going to do it. He's a genius if he does it, uh, do it somehow. And I mean, I will be there to actually like make probably another video um, like commenting on how he did it. But, you know, I just can't wait to see what he does. And uh, probably these are all the kind of rants that I wanted to talk about. Well, let me know what your thoughts about uh, Kanye and what he's doing. What do you think about Nelly's cha-chas, his Air Jordan 3 cement, black cement cha-chas, and all the other kind of stuff that I said in this video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the content, please uh, you know, give me a thumbs up so I know that you should like it. I can do these in the future. And if you like the content in general, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.